You know, the holiday season is upon us and those family gatherings are bound to look a little different, maybe smaller or maybe even over Zoom. Are you putting your best face forward? Dr. Colin Chen is a facial plastic and reconstructive surgeon at SLU Care joining us this morning. Good morning, Dr. Chen. Good morning. Thanks for having me on, Randy. You are most welcome. You know, I read recently a study because of more Zoom meetings and virtual workspaces. More people are seeing their face on screen and they're saying, you know, maybe I should get a little treatment here or a procedure there. Are you seeing more of that? Yeah, so certainly the holidays are a very busy time of the year for us. Um, this year is different, of course. But one of the things that the pandemic has brought out is just how familiar we've all become with our own faces. Yeah. We used to be having these meetings in these conference rooms, but now we're looking at our own faces on the screen all day long. And it's given us a chance to look at parts of our face that we perhaps didn't notice before. Yeah. So when folks come to see you or talk to you, what are they asking for in particular? So this time of the year, people really are looking for quick procedures that can be done in the office and get immediate results on um, some things that can turn back the clock for their facial aging. So two of our most popular treatments are Botox and filler injections. So what are the, what's the difference between both of those? So great question because some of those terms are used interchangeably and uh, first, I'll let you know what's uh, what they both have in common. So they're both uh, injectable medications that can be done in the office in a quick, uh, quick visit, and you get almost immediate results. But they're very different medications. Well, he can so shoot down the row. Botox is a medication that you inject into areas where you feel like there are wrinkles, and I target these medications at places such as your forehead around your eyes, your crow's feet, and even between your eyebrows, what's called the 11 lines. And the, this medication quiets the muscle. And it is really the calming down of the muscle that also takes the wrinkles away. On the other hand, the filler injections are used to be placed in areas of your face where we want to fill out uh, to give you more volume so that I could literally sculpt parts of your face to create the look of youth. That is so incredible. Okay, so is it safe for people to come in for an appointment because you say these are office visits? Yeah, so that's a great question as well because you know at the top of the hour you were talking about the COVID numbers in our region right now. And um, we not only deliver care at this outpatient cosmetic setting, but we're also part of the wider group of academic care through SLU Care Physicians. And as such, we have the latest data and information on what the numbers are doing in our community. And we really wouldn't be delivering this care if we didn't feel like we could do it in a safe way. Right now, when you come for one of these visits, you have minimal interaction with our staff, everyone wears a mask, and you can even get your Botox injections with your mask on. Hmm. So um, we, we want to do this service for you, of course, around the holidays, but we want to be confident that we can do it safely for you. All right, well, thank you so much for the information, doctor. We appreciate it. And we're gonna let folks know if you want more information, you can go to slucare.edu slash healthwatch. We will, of course, have all the info on our website as well as our Fox 2 mobile app. Doctor, thank you so much.